large. How are you? I'm at home just chilling. Jarge is over here. We're just chilling out and I'm bored. And that's kind of like what I wanted to talk to you about today. You know, what do you do when you're bored? What do I do? I eat. But uh, that means i got to get up off my butt to go to the refrigerator. So I'm not exactly going to go do that right now. But what I do, you know, is... See, now I recognize that. And um, I want to go eat. But... I don't in many cases, and sometimes I do. And when I do, I have a grapefruit or, or, or some almonds or something. But what I do is I'll, um, the worst time waster, but the best thing for me to do, believe it or not, is go to my Lose and Large page here. And um, I look at some things that say things like, hey, well, here's one of my famous quotes. Getting dressed is one of the biggest mental nightmares when you are overweight. Everything is tight and looks terrible. Now boy, what a reminder for me. And here I wrote it. Sometimes you don't take your own advice. And then some girl writes and she says to me, hey, I've never heard mental nightmare. I love the phrase and, and I'm going to use it. Yes, I like it. So there you go. Mental nightmare. That's what it is. A mental nightmare. And what happens is, I read this a little bit or you know, I peruse Facebook and I screw around and all of a sudden the urge to uh, to eating stops. What you have to find yourself doing is try to, when the triggers come, try to figure out what is good for you that's going to take you away from the refrigerator. One for me literally is Facebook. Okay? Two, I have these beautiful dogs in front of me. Sometimes I'll take them out for a, a walk. Um, three, I might even pick up a book. I've read more books this year. I'm 56 years old, and I've had a combined 56 years in life. I probably read like a book a month. Not crazy. Why? Because when I want to eat and I get bored, I'll pick up a book. Get into the book, 15, 20, and I have ADD in the biggest way. 15, 20, 25 pages, I put the book down. But you know, if I read 10, 15 pages a day, think about over 30 days, I could read two books a month. So I don't do it every day, but a lot of days. I'm not perfect, believe me. That's the whole idea here. It's not about perfection. It's by using good common sense to get healthy. So, hey, this is the Pinker saying, think about your triggers, and when they come, some of the things that you can do, like take the dog out for a walk if you have a dog, uh, even go get the mail, you know, put f Facebook, go Twitter, send someone an email, go make a phone call, just something to get your mind off of it. And then when you do that, 15 or 20 minutes from then, you're all good to go. You're good to go. So, um, what else I want to tell you? Let me give you a couple more uh, great inspirational tips. Okay? Um, hey, well, it's over. Buy, I was telling you, buy Halloween candy that you hate. See? So, if I do carry candy in the house, I, uh, I make sure I don't like it. There's not much I don't like. But uh, I make sure I don't, you know, for the kids and so on and so forth. So, remember, it's not a hopeless situation. Don't let your history control your destiny. Think about doing something now. The holidays are coming, and there's only one way you're going, and that's up, not down, this time of the year, unless you start really starting to pay attention a little bit. No one says you got to gain 15 pounds and be out of your mind come January. But we'll see you out there do it, and, uh, you know, if I don't see you now, I'll definitely see you later. For the Losing Large Minute, this is the Pinker saying, have a great day, keep drinking water. Take a walk like me. I'm moving, baby, from my chair. Get these glasses off. So long, everybody. Ow!